Hi guys and girls. Welcome to my brand new Reddit cheating stories video. Relationships can be challenging. And the sad truth is that people occasionally make bad decisions. Many have discussed their experiences with infidelity on Reddit. And I am here to give you a look at some of the most fascinating and amazing accounts. So settle back, unwind, and get ready to be surprised. And before, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to this channel. That would mean the world to me, as it will help me grow the channel quicker. Our today's story is from flimsy underscore okra underscore 9402. How I found out my ex-GF was cheating on me. After a couple of years, I want to share a story with you all and offer some advice. This is a lengthy story, but it's worth the read. In 2017, I met my ex-girlfriend, let's call her Mrs. V, in a park while I was with some friends, and she was with us. She was friendly, always smiling, and a solid 8 tenths. Nobody would have guessed that her behavior would change so drastically after we started dating. I was 19 years old, and she was 18. To give some background, I was with her for 3.5 years, and most of the time, it was okay. But back to the story. In December 2018, she told me that she wasn't feeling good in the relationship and wanted a pause. I was confused because we had a pretty good relationship. We had traveled to many places around our country, spent a lot of time together, and I even helped her mother with some problems she was having at the time. I had a great relationship with her mom and younger sister. I know this part may make me unpopular, but it's an important part of the story. In January 2019, not even two weeks after she wanted to spend more time with family and blah blah, I found out that she was seeing another guy. At the time, I wasn't very wealthy, and I weighed around 80 kilograms. This other guy was wealthier and looked like an athletic, gym-going person. Later that week, a friend told me that Mrs. V's friend had intentionally brainwashed her into thinking I was an idiot, a loser, and a complete mess. She also told her that I was earning very little, even though I was making a decent living and was stress-free. When I confronted Mrs. V about this, she gave me the old, we had a pause, we were separated, blah blah, excuse. She told me that she wasn't sleeping with him or doing anything intimate, but many people told me otherwise. Despite this, I forgave her and moved on. Months went by, and her behavior toward me changed rapidly, and it got worse every month. I even took out loans to buy her things like a mobile phone, laptop, a used car, and repairs for the car. I'm not sure why I did this, but I guess it was blind love. In 2020, things got really serious and bad. In May, we agreed to go on vacation, and I paid for everything. She insisted that her mom and sister come with us, and I had no problem with that because I had a good relationship with them. After the vacation, she started distancing herself from me, my family, and our time together. In November, I received a gibberish text message from her, and after some time, she told me that she was completely wasted at a friend's house and needed to go home ASAP. So I got in my car and drove to the place she described, but halfway there, I received a call from her phone. It was her friend, who told me not to come because there was a man who wanted to beat me up. I didn't understand why, but she also told me that Mrs. V had been talking about how abusive I was just 30 minutes earlier. And that I had forced her to go home. None of that was true. I arrived at the place and instead of getting smashed over the floor, I was welcomed by the same guy who wanted to sweep the floor with me. I picked her up and when I was arriving at her flat, she told me in alcoholic gibberish that, I wished I was single to sleep with guys and have fun with girls. I asked what, and got only, nothing, I am drunk. I told her what happened the day after, and she burst into tears. She said she loves me, she didn't want to be like that, etc. Really cheap excuses. Lately, in December, she started partying heavily. My friends told me that she was seeing Mr. D so they invited me to one party she was at, also with Mr. D nothing was really suspicious, she had a good time with friends, and he was there too. But nothing happened. That night, I snapped into investigate mode because something was telling me, something is off. We had our locations connected, so I pretty much knew where she was. For the whole three years, she didn't turn her position off, but that night she did. Two days after, she called me and said she was going to her mom's new place, and we would not be seeing each other for two days. Here comes the fun and most messed up thing. Later that day, my friend called me and said he saw her car parked on a street in town. He wanted to say hello because he saw me sitting in the passenger seat. However, I was sick and had been in bed all day, and that town wasn't anywhere near her mom's place. I tried to call her, but her phone was dead, or so she told me. Then my instincts kicked in, and I did some research to find out where Mr. D lived. I asked her mom how often she was with her, and also asked her about the night she was supposed to be with her. The puzzle was assembled pretty quickly, but I had no concrete evidence that she was cheating. 
We used to drive up a hill above my old place to look out over the city. It was January 2021, and I couldn't sleep, so I looked at the location map. She hadn't turned off her phone, so I had solid evidence that she was on the same hill above my old place. I woke up my neighbor and told him to get in the car because she wouldn't recognize his car, and we drove there as soon as possible. While we were driving, I explained what was going on, and when we arrived, I saw her giving Mr. D a blowjob in the same car I had paid for with a pretty high loan. When she noticed someone passing by, she turned off her phone for a while and then on again. She called me and said she thought I was on the hill. I told her, sure, I was. And guess what I saw? I told her that if she didn't want me to tell everyone that she was a cheater, she better show up at my old place as soon as possible. What broke me completely was that she arrived 10 minutes after I confronted her about being with Mr. D inside the car. He didn't know she had a boyfriend, and she told him that she bought her car by herself and broke up with me because I wasn't providing her anything. What a post, I told myself. I was seriously angry. She told me, it's not how it looks, but as you can imagine, I wasn't buying it at all. In the end, she told me she had slept with around 20 men during our whole relationship, including one on the vacation I paid for while I was asleep. Her excuse was, you were sleeping and not paying attention to me, so I went into the city and slept with the first guy the first met. From being a victim to being a strict bee in 10 minutes. Not to mention, she was mentally and verbally abusing me the whole time we were together. She made scenes, told her friends I was hitting her, etc. It wasn't really visible, but she was doing a lot of crazy things around our friends and in private. After this, I was diagnosed with depression and got tested for STDs. Luckily, I only had severe depression. Now, I have a new girlfriend, we are living in Austria, and I've started a new life, unfortunately with crippling debt and severe mental issues. The point is, never ever underestimate your gut feelings. Also, I will never trust any woman again. I have a great relationship now, but I still have huge trust issues that never fade away. Wellman81 commented. Sorry for what you went through, buddy. Thank your lucky stars you two never married and had kids. Your ex-girlfriend sounds like she belongs in the streets, not in a committed relationship. Just remember that her behavior had absolutely nothing to do with you, but everything to do with her. As far as your current relationship goes, your new girlfriend deserves the best version of yourself, not a man riddled with mental health issues and depression over a past relationship. She wants you to be there for her, not constantly thinking about your ex. Get yourself into therapy and be honest with your girlfriend about what you're going through. If she loves you, she'll help you work through those issues together. I hope you liked the video so far. Make sure to check my number one secret for healthy weight loss by clicking the link in the description. Flimsy underscore okra underscore 9402 commented. My girlfriend knows about my past, and she was really happy I told her. I think I won this one. She's super cute, super friendly, better looking, and she even motivates me to pursue my hobbies. She even bought me some expensive music instruments to improve my hobby. I can say that my past gave me a lot of experience. I will not trust 100%, but I am working on becoming a better person to myself and gaining trust in other people. However, being cautious is one of the things I'll never get rid of. Negative underscore smile 6134 commented. I went through something similar, but luckily it was only a few months before I caught onto it, not 3.5 years. I feel for you, man. Thanks for sharing. Alpha 6 Bravo 9 commented. My god, man, she was a psychopath. I didn't get enough of one, so I took a double dose back to back. Now the girlfriend I have currently is either toying with my emotions or she is cheating with the guy she works with every day. They're sneaking away from work early and showing up in two towns away, saying that she's driving 35 minutes to help him unload a trailer, and then she's got a 45-minute drive home instead of a 20-minute drive. Nothing's happening between us, is all I get for the denial. And so here I am. Flimsy underscore okra underscore 9402 commented. If you have doubts, ask her. Tell her what's bothering you and see her reaction. If she really likes you as a person, she will help you resolve this situation. If you were unhappy and don't see a future with her, you can move on. But get some info. Not stalking, but as I said in my op, go into, this doesn't seem okay, mode. Or just surprise her while she's there with something. I am sorry that you're having some problems, but I'm hoping you'll get better or you'll find a better significant other. Illvast4743 commented. She did you a favor. She snapped you out of your cluelessness and made you grow an actual backbone. Flimsy underscore okra underscore 9402 commented. For some more backstory. She really is a sociopath. I've found out throughout 2021-2022, when she was with Mr. D, she cheated on him. 
She was calling me frequently, saying that her new boyfriend abuses her and she needs help to get rid of him, blah blah. Later on, we found out with my friend she was basically abusing him, both mentally, verbally and physically, and he slapped her one time because she literally threw a table on him in front of some people we knew. So he was defending himself. What I know is, he broke up with her after she nearly killed them in a car. He contacted me and told me what the hell happened. She was drunk and she told him she didn't love him and she was with him just to upset me. Then she tried to steer the car into the water, but she was wasted, so he managed to shove her off. She is frequently writing me that she wants me back, that it was a mistake, and she even found where I was working, stalked me for a while, and involved her family to absurd levels. To this day, she occasionally sends me our old photos where we are together and sends me some crap talk like, look how we were happy here. Yes, I'm blocking basically everything, but I still get some email, messages because it's not that easy to block off someone completely. Don't stick your D in crazy. Avid on the work commented. We are at a huge disadvantage in being cheated on because we follow the rules of propriety, and our one-time lovers and partners take unfair advantage of us. No one tells us a damn thing about what to be looking out for, nor that the stats for cheating are so very high. We continue along not knowing, not expecting anything wrong. Afterward, we realize the single most important thing we needed to be aware of was to look for changes in our partners. If we had known about this precursor to cheating, we might just have been capable of saving our relationships. We never stand a chance. Why do we know so very little concerning relationships and all else? We are all ignorant and expected to navigate the most important thing in our lives with blindfolds in our hands tied behind our backs, relationships. Flimsy underscore okra underscore 9402 commented. I think personally, if she didn't make some mistakes that led me to investigate and really dig into that, I'd be clueless maybe to this day. Outrageous record 4944 commented. Low quality woman, bruh. Build yourself up, date around, you'll attract a high quality one. She had all the telltale signs of cheating. Anytime a woman tells you she needs a break, that's her basically saying, I want to sleep with someone else but not feel guilty about it. Banache Rask commented. That woman straight up used you. To her, you were a cash register and nothing more. Glad you moved on, and things are better. Here is one of Reddit's craziest and most surprising story about infidelity, guys. Keep in mind that being honest and loyal in your relationships is crucial because cheating is never the appropriate decision. We appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next video. Please make sure to subscribe, comment and like the video. For more content about Reddit cheating stories, please check out one of these video. And if you want to receive a free sketch of your soulmate, click the link in the description now.